Okay, here we're back. Uh, we're going to do equation number five. Uh, to get equation number five, we're going to have to recall a couple of things. We said that uh, the average velocity, uh, average velocity, uh, is delta d over delta t. So the the, the, the displacement will be the average velocity times delta t. Now I'm going to do two things. I'm going to find an alternate uh, uh, expression for the average velocity. I'm going to find an alternate expression for the average time. Bear with me. You'll see why I do this in a second. It's so that I can get um, an expression. If you notice, all of these expressions that you've had, we've had so far have relied on time. What if we don't have the time uh, information available? We want to find a way to get to that. So I'm going to I'm going to do uh, get to that expression in a second. Well, I know that the average velocity is just the v1 plus v2 uh, all over 2. So that's that value. But And uh, if you recall from the, the definition of uh, acceleration, uh, that uh, acceleration is v delta v over delta t. So delta v is going to be, uh, or um, sorry, delta t, my apologies. Delta t, if I rearrange this equation, will be delta v uh, over a. But delta v is v2 minus v1. And this is all divided by a. So what I'm going to do is, for this value of delta t, I'm going to substitute this expression here. So it's going to be v2 minus v1 all over a. And uh, again, bear with me here. I'm going to have, I can take v1, v1 plus v2 is equal to v2 plus v1, and you're going to see why I do that in a second. So I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to uh, uh, write v2 plus v1. If I'm dividing by two, that's the same thing as multiplying by half, or or, or or when I when I multiply fractions here, I'm going to multiply the numerator and I'm going to multiply the denominator. But we're going to keep it. I'm going to rearrange v2 and v1. So I'm going to say v2 plus v1, Ooh, horrible v, times v2 minus v1, uh, all over 2a. Is, uh, is was that what what that expression simple, sort of simplifies down to? But one thing uh, we call this the difference of square. When I have uh, a plus b times a minus b, if I foil this, I get v v two times v two. Let me do this in, in uh, red. So I get v two times v v two is v two squared uh, plus uh, v two times minus v one first outside. So I get negative v, uh, v1, v2. Then I multiply the inside uh, plus v1, v2. So the negative v1, v2 and the positive v1, v2 cancel each other out. And then I do the last ones, and I get negative v1 squared. So what I end up with is what we call a difference of squares. I get v2 squared minus v1 squared all over 2a. So that's what I'm going to get here. So I'm going to end up with v2 squared minus v1 squared all over 2a. So I'm going to rearrange this now and I'm going to uh, multiply this by, so I've got delta d and just put a little line down here so we keep it separate. So I get delta, delta d is equal to all of this. So what if I multiply this by 2a? If I do that, this is also 2a. So I end up with uh, 2a delta d is equal to v2 squared minus v1 squared. So I'm going to rearrange this. Again, this is just to get it into a format that you will re you would recognize from the text. So v2 squared will be, will be 1 squared plus 2a delta d. So 
uh, whenever I square a vector, I'm actually squaring just the magnitude because if I multiply it by itself, I end up with the, the value squared, but it, uh, it actually becomes a scalar. But So what this is saying is if I have the, the, uh, uh, the initial velocity, if I accelerate over a distance, delta d, I'll end up with a final velocity, v2, that can be derived using this equation. So this is our equation number five. Um, and so uh, this, uh, if you wanted to rearrange this equation uh, to, to put it in, in uh, AP format, so I'm going to have v2 squared uh, equals v1 squared plus 2 a x minus x naught. And that would be the, sort of the AP equivalent of that last equation. Now, like I said at the beginning, there, these are just five equations that I, uh, that I sort of derived. The reason we need five equations, uh, if I have, I have five unknowns, I have uh, in any of these, uh, uh, I have five possible unknowns in, in a situation. I'm going to have a displacement. I'm going to have a, a starting velocity. I'm going to have a final velocity. I'm going to have an acceleration. And I'm, this is going to uh, occur over a period of time. So I've got one, two, three, four, five variables. If I have five variables, five possible variables to describe these situations, I need five equations. If I don't have five equations available, I've got, a, I've got more variables than I have equations. I can have more than five equations. I need a minimum of uh, five equations uh, required. If I have uh, five equations and I have five variables, I can. Uh, it's what's called a solvable system. If I have more than uh, more variables than I have equations, I get an infinite number of solutions. So we needed to derive five equations. Those are the these are the five equations. So I'm just going to recap. Equation number one. Got my notes uh, handy. Uh, equation number one is going to be displacement is. Uh, one half v1 plus v2 delta t. That's equation number one. Equation number two was uh, v2 is equal to v1 uh, plus a delta t. That's equation number two. Equation number three is going to be displacement is equal to uh, V1 delta T uh, plus one half A delta T squared. That's equation number three. Equation number four was again this displacement. If now if I ha if I wanted in terms of V2 and all the other variables. Change swap out v1 for v uh, v2 for v1. It'll be v2 delta t minus one half a delta t all squared. That's equation number four. And finally, the last one. Uh, if I have v2 squared equals v1 squared uh, plus two a delta d. And that's equation number five. Uh, again, the, the sort of AP equivalent would be, I'll do these in red, uh, x equals x naught uh, plus one half v1 plus v2 t, no deltas, uh, v2 uh, is equal to v1 plus a t, uh, x equals x naught uh, plus v1 t plus one half a t squared um, x equals x naught plus v2 t minus one half a t squared finally uh, v2 squared is equal to v1 squared plus 2 a times x minus x naught again, just replacing the delta t. So this is equation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 
the uh, uh, the, the the trick is the, the the skill that you need to develop is looking at a situation, recognizing what information you have available, what information is easily derivable based on the 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 uh, situation that you've got if you don't have it directly available, and then you can uh, uh, select one of these equations and um, uh, begin to solve for the unknown variables. So I'm going to stop this now. What I'm going to, after the break, uh, I'm going to, uh, I guess we'll have a commercial break. I don't know. We're going to stop now. I'm going to set up some uh, practice equations. I'll go through one or two, and then um, I'll leave the rest to you to do for homework.